Hey there, Cancer. Hope your guys' weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful side of Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer. Time out, Cancer. Cancer. Got a puppet master here. Two more. Forward movement for you. We've got a curse that we've lifted off of our bloodline here. I'm not going to take these. There's something about your content creator here. Something about you expressing yourself here. And then here's this, this whole group of people that wanted to get themselves involved in this. Somebody is trying to come back around and say they are sorry here. So let's see what we get here. What's overall energy? Overall energy. At least somebody's nervous. Overall energy. Somebody's trying to figure out how to make peace with you, but oh, they nervous. I am a being in love. I release all negativity. We're going to transmute that energy. We're going to use it as fuel, and we're going to power ourselves up with this energy that was this darkness that has tried to attack us. We're going to just be ever, forever be with this internal peace. Like I said, we're going to flip that and transmute that energy. Somebody does not like the way that you're using your intuition to make choices these days because these people were banking off of manipulating you by keeping you stuck at like a an indecisive mindset. So don't let these people come back and try to manipulate their way back in here. So these people only want to come back because you're winning. Cancer. Your career is on the rise. Definitely with your my content creators here. And if you are thinking about starting your, a channel for yourself, go for it. I was scared as hell when I first started my channel. And here I am now. You'll get comfortable. Move through that fear. Go for it. Somebody knows that their time has come. I can't make this stuff up. Somebody's time is up. Your time has come. Something about... Could be seeing crows. Crows could be significant for somebody here. That's somebody's spirit animal. Cancer. Your manifestations. By staying focused on what I want, I manifest it. And this is what you're doing. Manifesting your reality here. Stay focused on what you're trying to create here. And powers of the spoken word. I only speak about what I would like to create in my life. And because I'm only speaking things that I want to bring towards me. Watch your wordings. Watch what you speak into existence. Have you ever noticed how you spoke out of wanting the answer for something? And then you forgot about it. And later on it hits you right upside the head. That's how manifestations work. You got to put it out there. Detach from it. And let it come in as it should. In that divine timing. Your words have power. So always watch what you're speaking and what you're thinking of self here. Cancer. Surrender your addictions. Addict, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin, the, to, begin, to begin to heal the addictions, replace it with healthier alternatives. And this is what we're doing. So the, even this curse has even subjected you to these addictions here. When you have, when you are down here... Um, lifting a curse off of your bloodline, you are going to get hit with the most trauma out of everybody in your bloodline because you are the game changer. So that's when we fall into these addictions and we are trying to mask our pain and our trauma. That's why it's so important to do our healing work. So these addictions will no longer become addictions once you move through your pain and trauma and understand why I'm even using these because you're medicating your mind. I used to do the same thing. Surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any remnants that stop you from opening your heart. So you do have a connection that's meant to happen here. So you both may have a fear of intimacy here. So this is like you both are going to have to teach each other to work through your fears of being intimate. And intimacy is more than just having sex with somebody. It's having a mental bond, a spiritual bond, an emotional bond. So surrender to complete healing. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe. Let that support in. Get your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual healing. And there's no wrong way to do your healing work. Find what works best for you. And don't let anybody try to tell you or steer you in a certain way. Do what's right for you. Cancer. A one-one outcome is forecasted here for you. So there's some kind of legal proceedings happening for you. And everything is going in your favor. And surrendering to the divine. This is like doing everything we can to, 
to those manifestations, again, putting it out there, doing everything we can to create those manifestations and then surrendering it to the divine and letting divine work its magic for you. That is also what we need to do when it comes to people that have wronged us. Don't sink karma for yourself. Let it go and let, let your spirit team work out that karma because it will play out. And then more very strong Libra placements here. And then we've got this romantic cycle coming in. So everything is balancing out for you. And your energy is gaining momentum because somebody had some kind of control over you and they have lost control. And because they have lost control, everything is going up for you. Tell me about this puppet master. What are they doing here? Oh, man. Somebody has been really trying to, to twist and bend and, and mess with your mindset here is what somebody has been trying to do. But this is happening to somebody else now. So I am picking up on this mind control program, this MK Ultra. This is like what this government does to us people that are on these programs is they they purposely set us up to fail and to and basically like beat ourselves up, like self-destruct, take yourself out. So you've had some kind of handler that's been like twisting and manipulating things in your life here. Tell me more. And your ancestors said, come here, child. We, we want you to pick up this call. Come on, we're going down this rabbit hole. We're about to enlighten you. We're about to show you who you are, what you can do here. So by your ancestors reaching out and your awakening that is very significant is what's activating your ancestors to reach out to you. So go down that rabbit hole, follow your ancestors because they're reaching out for you. So you're about to get out of this. Like you're going towards a very beautiful timeline for yourself. And you're learning to, to trust your intuition. You, you remain somebody who's just very beautiful, compassionate, integrity. And man, this controlling energy was trying to stop you from being this loving, beautiful energy who you truly are. So when we get hit around by a bunch of trauma and people wronging us, because this program will even assign you, people will get paid to torture you. It's sick and twisted. So... You still remain kind and loving despite everything that they've done to you. So don't ever change. Don't become like those who hurt you. By all means, put boundaries up and put people in their place. Don't, don't be soft when it comes to them. Put them in their place. So sometimes we got to pull the big guns out on people, and that's okay. doesn't mean that you're a bad person for doing that. So, so I'm looking at these swords. So there's something about an energetic cut here. There's a release that, that, that doesn't have hold on you anymore. And these energies have like literally done everything they could to defeat you. They're the ones that are falling down now. And that is justice. Justice is coming in. Everything is balancing out here. So much illusions that you have had yourself in. Like this mindset that just your reality was never really your true reality because your mind was being controlled. Somebody's been trying to control a lover from coming your way as well. So even your lover has been dealing with some kind of controlled energy in the background, whether they're aware of it or not. Time out forward movement. Here comes your lover in. Mm -hmm. You two go, you two are going to like, there's something about you guys just getting in the car and just traveling and just like sightseeing. Like you guys are just going to have fun, like just doing nothing. Like this is like, you guys are going to love each other's company. Tell me more. The star. Somebody looks at you as a star. You're moving right towards what was meant to be yours. You're the star. You've been activated here. So you are you are very somebody very important. That's why things were trying to stop you. So but somebody looks at you as their ultimate wish fulfillment, their star. Some of you guys are meant to reach certain levels of fame and fortune for yourself. People have to walk away from this. Whoever was in the background trying to control and, and manipulate this, they've got to walk away because you're, you're out of it. They can't stop you. My chosen one, my earth angels, my light workers. So much balance, so much patience, so much healing work is making you move forward. And all hell is breaking loose because of this. So much conflict and just competition, drama, just a lot of fights breaking out because you got out of this. And now people are just in the background watching you as you just, la, 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 moving through the mountains. I'm going to go right through that water, past y'all. Everybody's like, oh, man, how'd they get out of that? <laughs> Something about a new house, a new lifestyle all together for you. A new lover, a new house, everything new for you, sir, ma'am. Tell you about this curse that we've lifted off of our bloodline. 
So mother, mother's side was cursed. I'll tell you about that. There's mother right there. So there's, okay. So mother, something, something happened to mother here. Okay. Mother got separated from child here. A child is clearing up mother's karmic debt here. You are lifting a powerful curse off of your bloodline. I hope you know the work that you're doing here. That's why your ancestors don't... Your ancestors, whatever you want, it's yours. Your ancestors, you have freed your ancestral line. This is powerful. Tell me more. People have to walk away from this. So... There's even people in this lifetime that are part of this abuse that followed you from your past life. And they have to walk away from this. You are free to go. I don't know if it's your end or your masculine's end, but somebody's mother figure is toxic as hell. Somebody's got to walk away from mama bear here because mama's no good. So my mom's fake, so I'm walking away from her. And this is creating balance. This is causing more healing and just man you guys are the light beings that were sent down here to get rid of this darkness off of your bloodline and that is why so much conflict has come for you because of this and everybody knows what's happening now they cannot stop you and there is a beautiful union happening here and there is a man there is like a, a death happening here because of this. So somebody is about to pass away. And there was a death that happened with a mother figure here for somebody here. That also created some kind of like, some kind of a curse over the bloodline here. Somebody is wanting to come back and say they're sorry here. Yep, somebody's trying to come back here and make something right. But this is somebody that was part of this manipulation and this controlling energy. So don't let them back. They only want to come back because something is being ruled in your favor. So that's why they want to make something right with you. Want to fill your head with nonsense here. Try to gaslight you. Try to create a perfect illusion to, to pull you back in. Don't trust it. They're coming to, towards you with like heartfelt emotion, but it's manipulation. This is like somebody that wants to get in the way of somebody else here. Keep your boundaries up with this person trying to come back around. They mean you no know well. This is part of somebody that was trying to take you out. This is past life. So much past life connections here that you're dealing with. So it's almost like you got more than one person from a past life here showing up in this read. I've got air, Aries, air, water, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, water, air, and Libra here. Strong Libra placements. Cancer. There they go. Here comes your lover. Somebody coming towards you in old-fashioned ways. Hopeless. This person feels hopeless. They, they have a hopeless romantic for you. This person's... This is the type of person that doesn't do these things. What is this? Why am I doing this? What do I do with my hands? I don't know. Tell me what we do with it. <laughs> Not reacting to the negativity anymore. When people can control our emotions, they control us. So we're going to learn to master our emotions. When we become to the point where we can master emotions, we become a force to be reckoned with. So we're not going to react to that negativity. We're going to keep it pushing. The comfort zone. Somebody was trying to keep you stuck in this comfort zone of just being comfortable with just being hurt. Being comfortable with trauma. No. We're going to push ourselves out of those comfort zones. Sometimes things get uncomfortable for us to embrace new things. So we got we don't want to stay stuck in fear because of things that we're used to. We're going to move out of that and we're going to accept better things because we all deserve to have better. And you've got this, man, you've got this energy where you're just, you're not from here. You're you're definitely different than other people, and that's okay. So am I. So we don't want to be like everybody else. We like our uniqueness. It, it gives us that extra flair. So you've got power here that most don't have, so embrace that. You're diving deep in with answers, and somebody didn't want you to, to start rooting around and start pulling up everything, and this is what you've done here. And your, your reality is now shifting and changing because of all the information we're finding out here. So much greed and manipulation. These are these people trying to come. There's definitely somebody here trying to come back. They only want to come back because of the greed. Because you're winning something here. And there was just so much manipulation controlling you. And it has to do with money here. You're expressing yourself in creative ways. So sometimes when we're hurt, we, we have... 
Okay. So instead of using like addictions, like whatever that may be for you, channel things in a creative way. Whether you like to draw, write, read tarot like I do, find something that gives you a sense of purpose and drive and you'll thrive at it. You'll find your little, your groove in life and everything will just turn beautiful for you. Somebody's trying to return here. This is like the past trying to return. So don't let the past back in because we're making room for new things. So if we open up doors for past people, we close up offers for new things to come in. And that's facts. Fair is fair. Something is definitely rolling in your favor here. Ancestors say fair is fair. My baby worked hard to release a curse off of our bloodline. They get whatever they want. So, And you've got a divine plan with your life. Everything that has happened in your life is meant to, to, it was all meant to play out as it was. Don't look at things as, why is this happening to me? Look at it as, what am I learning from this? What am I meant to learn? What am I gaining from this? We never lose, we only gain. So you have a divine plan, and you had to come into alignment with yourself in order to come into alignment with what the universe has for you. My shamans, my healers, my light beings, you guys are beautiful, you're amazing. We need more of you guys out in the front line. We're here to fight the darkness. You had to be broken down into multiple pieces and build yourself back up. A healer must learn to heal themselves in order to be a healer and assistance of others. And this is what's happening for you. You have this lineage that's very powerful. And, you, and it's all about you awakening to your power of who you are. And then we've got friends. So there's even like people trying to come back in a friendly manner as well. So just always use your discernment. Now that everybody's seeing the truth now of, of who win, who's winning this, they want to get on your side. And there's that indecisive energy that they tried to bank off of you before. Don't let them keep you stuck at a stalemate where you're like, don't know what you're doing. Cut them out. They don't deserve to come with you. These are people that were in everybody else's ear. They were all part of a group talking about you. So keep that in mind when they try to come back and try to make right with you. They talked awful about you, okay, to where... They wanted you not to be here anymore, so you have a blessed union coming in. So this is a love that's going to transform not only each other's views on love, but the world as well. It's like God is using you both as an example. Your stories are going to be heard. Cancer. There's an investigation happening right now. I heard there's a crooked investigator and there's a legit investigator. So there's a couple investigators involved in here right now. All right. And the crooked investigator has to, is tied in with these crooked police officers. So somebody's trying to burn the evidence. Somebody's trying to go backwards and burn all the proof of what they've been doing to you. Burning contracts, I heard. There are so many people, like, so much anger right now with people. People are broken and effed up over this. And then you got somebody trying to come back and make it seem like they are so destroyed about everything that happened. And they didn't know the whole story. Oh, but they did. Don't, don't let them gaslight you. Got some people here that are, like, really in these drugs right now. There's... Okay, so this manipulation is controlling. It was even to keep you stuck in these addictions here. These addictions were purposely brought your way. So these addictions would disconnect you from your higher self. That's what these drugs do to us. These doctors aren't for us all the time, guys. They want to put us on medicine. And they want to suppress our gifts. Don't trust even the doctors. Somebody is trying, okay, so somebody here, so people that are trying to come back around, they wanted you to be like you were a bugaboo, like you're just, oh, they're so annoying, they're such a bugaboo, toss you to the side like trash, now they want to circle back around for you, let that sink in, think about that. Somebody is finding out that they have some kind of sickness here, it could be sexual, but there's some kind of sickness here. And you're over here fighting what's for what's yours. You're reclaiming what's yours, as you should. And there's that anger I was feeling. Uh-huh. Some angry people. Angry and mad. There's something about your anger, too. So when we've been knocked around and we've dealt with nothing but trauma, we get angry. We get mad at the world. So this is like taking our anger. So I still have anger issues. I'm still working on my anger. So we're going to learn to channel our anger in healthier ways 
So we're just, we're not going to let that trauma make us self-destruct anymore. It's so much insecurity here. And this is what was also part of the plan was to keep you so insecure, lacking confidence. Because if we keep her in these type of feelings, they'll never go to their full power. And that was the plan as well. Everything's about to pop off. Everything's exploding here. And everybody is very much aware of this. That's why we have people trying to come back around and apologize here. Cancer. There it is. This is coming out to remind you what they said about you. Had a good old time gossiping about you, putting their mouth on you. So keep that in mind when they try to return. They're all laughing and having a good old time when they thought this gossip was going to stick and they were going to able to defame your character to get you taken out even. Now they're crying while you're smiling. Smiling all the way to the bank, I just heard. Access granted. Something is granted for you now. And we've got this copycat energy. So there's a copycat that has been cloaking themselves as you. This is part of this curse that you've been lifting. This copycat is, their time is up. Copycat's done for. This copycat is going to endure all the pain that you have because they want to copy you. So they get to go through the lessons that you did. They don't have the strength that you do. They don't have the healing abilities that you do. You're the bad girl. That rebel. You don't fit the norms of society. And you're not meant to. So if you're like me, you have trouble keeping jobs and things. It's because they attack you through everything. So, of course, our, our work history is a little, a little jumbled. That's okay. We're going to be this rebel. We're not going to let anybody make us feel bad because of the choices that we've made in our life either. So, got a lot of judgmental people that want to judge us for things that they wouldn't have made it out of. So, <laughs> here we go. Here comes your person towards you. You both have the same likes and qualities here. Like, you guys are going to mesh very well. Like, I keep kidding. You guys are going to have a lot of fun together. So, you guys like the same things. Justice is coming in. Balance is happening here. And, oh, are people nervous about this? Very nervous. And here's some kind of person that has some kind of power. But this person only has power because it's, it's your stuff. They're your resources that they're getting their power from. So... Man, and there's just some kind of higher up energy that was involved with this puppet master energy. These strings somebody's been pulling in the background. A lot of money that's been paid out to keep you stuck. And here comes a scared feminine here. Everybody is scared, realizing what they've signed themselves up for. These clowns are being exposed for the clowns that they are. They hide behind masks. They're cowards. And now somebody is depressed. Somebody's falling apart right now. And this silent treatment. So, okay. So, before you did your healing work, people were able to manipulate you by giving you the silent treatment. That's not working anymore. So, the silence is blowing up in people's faces. And that makes them want to look at you with that much more hate, that much more. Like, this darkness has been trying to come at you. <laughs> Somebody is scared of what they've done dabbled in here. So the darkness is coming for people now. Somebody's having a light bulb moment. Here comes your new person in. So I'm telling you, it's almost like somebody here knows that there's somebody new headed your way. And somebody is trying to, to return because of this. So just keep that in mind. All right. Tell me what these people are doing. This puppet master, these secret societies, these cults, these community of people. What were they doing? Tell me about that. Debt. They all have debt. They're racked up debt. This is someone that has... Ooh, the, I just heard they owe. They owe up. It's a long time coming, I heard. They've got some pain that they had to do. These people are, are in debt. And that's why they did what they did. You are somebody that is... People flourish off of your energy. They benefit off of your energy because you are not of this world. You're in it, but you're not of it. So they take advantage of that. That's that program that we get put on when they start attacking us. Somebody's going into an institution. So, and you know, if you're like me, I've been in an institution too. I've been all, all over the place, man. So, yeah. Somebody is actually going into an institution here. It's not good. You're the power supply. Okay. So, because they can no longer have access to your power supply, somebody's losing their marbles. Somebody was trying to get rid of 
So it's almost like they wanted to get rid of you, but still keep your power supply here. And they weren't able to do that. Somebody was trying to... Okay, so there's a ritual here that somebody was doing. And this ritual was meant to get you to unalive yourself or get you to go to the men award is what the plan was. So these people are sick and twisted. The darkness runs through these people. I'm telling you, somebody that is involved in this scene, if there's somebody is going to the mental ward. I keep getting that. Because that's what they wanted for you. That's what they're getting. There's some kind of gift that is meant to be yours. There's a house, there's property, all kinds of things in your name here. Somebody was somebody was going to receive some kind of gift by coming to your house and attacking you. There's a burial. There's something here about a burial. Somebody was trying to cover up something here. It's an inside job. Somebody was trying to, to come towards you with an inside job here, trying to um, achieve something towards you. And we've got a grandparent that's significant. So there's something about a grandparent that is showing up here. Something is traveling. Okay, so somebody knows that they've got a natural disaster that's headed towards them. These people have been traveling and maneuvering and controlling your life, and they can no longer control it. And now this is, it's payback time. And they're definitely watching your social media. That's what these secret societies do. They watch your house. They watch me shower. They watch me use the bathroom. They watch me sleep. That's what they do. They're sick and twisted. And somebody's going to jail. And this is why somebody keeps watching you because they're nervous. It's an organized crime. Mm -hmm. Cold and calculated. All for money. All for greed is what these people have done this for. And they were definitely banking off of you. Okay. I said to grab those. Okay. And they are in regret. These people are now in regret. And the whole neighborhood is involved. Uh-huh. The whole neighborhood was paid off. Turn, turn, a, turn a blind eye. Don't help this woman. Act like you didn't hear anything. You didn't see anything. We're going to pay you good, though. You definitely are not from here. That's why these people were siphoning your energy because of who you are. So, Cancer. The big fallout. This is what's happening with everybody involved. Everybody's starting to have fallouts here. You're royalty, and you demand to have the respect because you come from a royal bloodline. Trust fund, baby. And boy, is somebody envious of you because of where you come from, your royalty. Like your fake family, everybody's jealous of you. And now they're even more jealous because you're winning. And these people are trapped. They know that they can't get out of this. Beauty and all her admirers. So you've got, you're drawing admirers towards you. So always use your discernment because there's somebody in particular that's for you. Not everybody's going to be for you. Just when we start getting ourselves in the limelight, it draws attention. So just always use discernment. Exactly. Build those walls of protection. Learn to protect yourself energetically and physically. Somebody's in falling in love with you. This is how somebody feels. Like this is somebody that's like very well could be in love with you already. But the when you guys connect, like it's just gonna be like instant, instant love. Like you guys are gonna feel it. You're the innocent bystander in all of this. And you were made not to be looked at any of those things. You were meant to be looked at as the abuser, the neglector, but your abusers and neglectors are the ones doing this to you. You're innocent. You're showing up in people's dreams here. Some are to haunt people and some are just because people are thinking about you. And there's these devil ball suckers that hide in church. Portray themselves as churchy, godly people. God is tired of you guys. So tired of you guys. And we've got that hero. You're the hero. You're you're fighting the, the darkness. Most people don't have that brave energy to, to go up against the darkness because these secret societies have a lot of power and weight. They can take your life. They can make you disappear. We're not going to be afraid of these people. People's feelings get hurt. This is what happens when we're truth speakers. We trigger people. We want them to reflect. We want them to change. But unfortunately, not everybody's going to do that. Some people are going to feel like we're attacking them because they have brokenness inside of them. That's why they seek to attack you. So when you're a truth speaker, 
and you spit truths and facts and you out the truth, oh, they're going to try to attack you. Do not be scared of these people. And this ghosting energy that's trying to come back around. This is this person trying to come back and tell, say that they're sorry. Don't know. They're only sorry because they couldn't take you out. They couldn't get pay off of your head. Cancer. There's those, and they want to come back because of this. Everything is rolling in your favor. All kinds of scales here. Everything is definitely being balanced out. Everybody's creeping. Very much aware that everything is balancing out for you. Okay, so somebody took a bad offer by trying to buy you. Somebody tried to buy you and it didn't work. This is somebody that's got some power and control and they think because they have power and control and money that they can just buy people. We are not for sale. Sorry. And now you're mad. <laughs> oh, well, get mad. So mad and bothered because we're not intimidated by them. We're not a threat. We're not threatened by them. But you guys are threatened by us, though. That's why you got to form groups to come up against us. Somebody's trying to come back with emotional manipulation to hook, line, and sinker you. This is somebody that is part of your trauma of your past. This is somebody that will keep you relieving your, tr relieving, reliving your trauma because you've healed. That's why it's so important to leave these people in the past that have hurt us. Leave them. Let them go. They'll only try to pull up trauma and these type of people from your past they know the things that hurt you and that trigger you and they will purposely continue to do those things to continue to get a rise out of you move on that's why these energies are this person in particular or people they know that you're moving on so and this is what they are trying to run from is their bad karma so these people that wish death upon you and sent death magic your way these people have cursed them bloodlines, cursed their children even. So there is bad karma playing out for everybody. And the reason that your life was hard on you is because of this curse that you've lifted. So continue reflecting. Like when people try to, to come at us and try to get us to reconnect with them, pull your energy back, reflect. Don't, don't let them trigger you. I keep wanting to tell you don't let them trigger you because that's what they want to do. And these people are trying to come back around because of what you got. And there is somebody here that is like, there's a true opportunist energy. This is this copycat. This copycat only wanted to be you because of the money. Man, somebody does not, somebody did not like that you aren't, they wanted you to feel rejected and you're not. And they're holding grudges against you because of that. And these grudges, we're going to let those go because when we hold on to hate in our heart, people control us. So we're going to let that go. We're not going to even hold any hate in our heart. They don't have that power over us. And that triggers them that much more. How dare you not even be upset by me? Because we're not. You're, you're insignificant to us. These happiness haters in the background, wishing on your downfall, praying on you to, to unalive yourself. And this is what you did. You're like, all right, bet. I ain't doing none of those things. I'm going to rise into my power because this is who I am. And you're not taking this from me. And everybody is very much watching you. You got a lot of stalkers watching you right now. Watching you step into your power here. So. Cancer. I'm telling you. Here it comes. Somebody wants to try to come back here with an apology. But it's fake. Don't fall for it. This person is just upset. Because everything is going in your favor here. Somebody wants to cry cro crocodile tears. You've got a healthy connection coming towards you. Someone that's going to nourish you. You both are going to grow. You both are going to help each other find each other that much more here. So don't let your past get in the way of new. Because this is what they want to do. I can't make this stuff up. They want to return. They see your opportunities. They want to play the victim. They, they want to create an illusion. I made a mistake. Well, we're moving away. And this time is, everybody is looking at the time and realizing that they can't stop this. You're going towards your foundation, going towards your secure, solid, happy, healthy environment. And you get your lover to come with you. Everybody's realizing some things. Everybody's realizing everything is going in your favor now. We got twin flame connection. So you are your twin flame. Don't let titles keep you stuck. 
some of you, it's just like a twin trying to come back and apologize. Trust your intuition here. Because you've got somebody trying to come back here and form a bond with you. But there's somebody better showing up for you. Trust your intuition. And here's your soulmate here. So you got a soulmate coming up for you. Somebody is in their feelings aware of this. So, and the way that your energy is withdrawn, people are starting to feel that impact. And they're trying to cling to the thought of you. Don't let anybody come in here to distract you. Because they will only continue to cause delays and setbacks if you let them back in your life these people thought you were going to chase after them and you're not you pulled your energy back and you focused on you because we've been down this road we've been depleted and drained and we're exhausted we get to a point on our in our journey where we get sick and tired of ourselves and that's where change starts happening so these people are so conflicted because of your boundaries that's good 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 Keep enforcing these boundaries with these people because it's making it hard for them to, to come back the way that they were able to before, before you did your healing work. Close that cycle out. What did I learn from it? What am I not repeating? Okay, check, check. I'm going to close it out. I'm not going to let it hold me anymore. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to be at peace. I'm going to release all that negative energy and I'm just going to be happy, chilling, loving life. And that is your good karma and everybody else's bad karma to watch you elevate and rise up and they don't get access to you so all right beautiful cancer that was your guys's message i hope that helped and resonated if it did not please check back with me on wednesday we'll do it all over again appreciate you so much light and love to you see you wednesday